Hi. It's been about four months since I've made one of these, and there's really no better reason to revive the series than for what happened this week, because for the first time in three years since launch, Insurgency Sandstorm is available on console. <laughs> A drop so anticipated that everyone on the forums were switching their location to New Zealand to have access as soon as humanly possible, showing both that people are willing to big brain their problems and put up with a shitty internet connection for games they love, as well as the unlimited power you probably have with NordVPN. I'm just kidding, I don't get sponsorships. It's also the reason I've gained 2,000 subscribers in the past two and a half weeks alone and why my videos have been utterly exploding as of very recently. Taking a look at New World Interactive's announcement and FAQs regarding the release and my thoughts on the big day. Stay tuned, you're watching This Week in Sandstorm. <laughs> I don't own a console, never had had a console, and probably have an Xbox record at friends' houses totaling two and a half hours of playing tops, but despite knowing as much about a controller as I do about quote-unquote female people, I have to admit that there is an inherent magic going on to the subreddit as of writing this video today and seeing everyone with their copies of In Terms of Sandstorm and all the PS5 users losing their minds because they finally have a first-person shooter to look forward to that's not, I don't know, Vanguard? Holy Jesus. What is that? The fuck is that? Sandstorm has solidified its place as probably the first tactical realism shooter on next-gen consoles, and while as opposed to PC where it's big, I don't really know what the market for that is like, but it could easily be that the console release is NWI's big break. I got a lot of questions from commenters and Discord members, linked down below, and I've seen a lot of common misconceptions regarding exactly what you're going to get with the console version of Sandstorm, so here's the bottom line. If you buy Insurgency Sandstorm, you are getting the base game with the only locked content being cosmetic DLCs. It is for Xbox One and PS4 with backwards compatibility for the next gen consoles which will run it at 4K 60fps, that's better than what I get. Exact performance measures for each console varies so here's the chart. It has also been said that a next gen catered update is coming sometime in 2022 with specific features for Series X and PS5 consoles, however what those might be has not yet been specified by the developers. Any of the three purchasable editions essentially net you the same thing currently, but because of future content releases, some are of course better than others. First and foremost, any pre-ordered edition at all gets the exclusive Warlord and Peacemaker gear sets. However, if you're watching this video, it is already too late for that. The base Insurgency Sandstorm copy just gets you the game, whilst the Deluxe Edition comes with a Year 1 Season Past, and the Gold Edition has a Year 1 and Year 2, and another 4 instant rewards for the second Season Pass. Each season is said to contain 16 cosmetic sets, and seeing as they've only released that total for the past year on PC2, it's pretty much equivalent. The Year 1 Pass will get you all of the Nightfall, Breakaway, Cold Blood, and Exodus Operations bundles with 4 themed cosmetics around each of them, a weapon skin bundle and uniform bundle for each team. Believe me, I own all of them and many of them are still sick as hell. Crossplay is currently exclusive to each brand of console, i.e. Xboxes play together cross-platform as do Playstations, but they are already working to make sure that Sony and Microsoft can play nice for once. Console and PC crossplay is currently out of the question, perhaps for a good reason because of both the veterans on PC making a massacre out of console noobs given the chance and also performance and interface variations probably making any sort of PvP totally unfair. Mod support is also not available at release, however the devs say they are looking into getting it done for a console as well. It did not happen overnight for PC either, but with popular demand I see it very likely being announced sometime next year. This is because, as is the nature of game releases, there are always bigger fish to fry than oh, no. expansions right off the bat. Most content for consoles that isn't already finished for the near future is likely going to be quality of life changes and bug patches by and large to ensure that the players, you, are getting the best experiences possible and really there's nothing wrong with this. What do you want? What do you want? It's not that simple. What it's do you want? 
What do you want? Finally, most exciting to me and most strange is, and take this with a grain of salt, talks of actually going through with the campaign that they had planned for the game, but eventually scrapped before launch, taking place. What this could look like is up to speculation, and your guess is as good as mine, and I'm sure even the developers probably don't have a very good idea of what it's going to look like, if it is at all going to happen, but all I know is, my favorite games ever, Rainbow Six Siege, Overwatch, Ghost Recon Phantoms, they never got or still don't have campaigns to this day, and I would like to see that happen for a change. With the details thoroughly laid out, I think the biggest takeaway here is that if you are buying for a console and you've seen some videos on YouTube, be aware that anything tagged with ISMC is in fact modded and currently unavailable. A rather large part of this community recently has been this rather extensive mod, adding tons of variations and attachments and anything up to new vehicles for the sake of realism, and I've seen videos advertising as if this is what Sandstorm is or else this is what you can expect, but it just isn't. And without proper mod support, it may be disappointing that you can't have a 416C and more attachments than your 5-year-old self ran on your nerf long shot CS6. You also won't be able to hop into games with other platforms just yet, but with time, the boys on PlayStation, Xbox, and one day even maybe PC, fingers crossed, can oh, all queue for the What's same up? epic game it's of Extraction. <laughs> I think the real bottom line here is that the time to get the game on console is right now, because having watched from the sidelines, the new console players starting to figure their shit out for the first time, it's both hilarious and very envious, as I would love to have that feeling of playing this game for the first time again, where nobody knows what they're doing and strategies and metas really haven't been solidified, that latter part I never experienced myself having joined later, so consider that the title is ripe for the taking, as it were. This this, this is not okay. There's a couple of interesting or just unignorable things like the console trailer being straight up goofy with car chases, completely butchered cosmetics and icing on the cake like an entire team shooting at a building that's just an empty backdrop and like why, why is the A-10 shooting, shooting from, from its, its wings? wings? Since when do aircraft fly this low? But I would hardly call it false advertising, certainly not to the extent of what we see with other games building more than unreasonable expectations. I would however say that it's dumb as hell and I kind of hope that this shit is actually something you can do sometime in the future like please bring the big truck back i want to drive the big truck in wi father hank please speaking of the future the last thing i have really to talk about and the only unknown variable left on the table is when 1.11 and otherwise unnamed update drops on pc or console adding what looks to be a very exciting new map thrilling vip player versus player mode called ambush on top of two new smgs my favorite weapon type and more than any of those things combined the fact that the molotovs no longer one shot. We won. This is dark. <laughs> So yeah, to conclude this video, not only is it probably the best time to play Insurgency Sandstorm right now, it will in all likelihood only get better, as the update's already been around through the CTE, and honestly, given the console release being now out of the way, I see it very likely that we get our next and probably final large operation of this year sometime within maybe even a month. To all the new players, welcome to Insurgency, and enjoy your stay. I hope you have fun, and maybe someday, I'll see you out there in Sandstorm, where Molotovs no longer one-shot. Yeah, yeah mother